Good day. Pastor Bill here. I hope things are going well with you. Let me start with a story. Many years ago, off the coast of a city called Gisborne, New Zealand, I found myself at the bottom of the ocean off the the harbor approaches. I was a diver, a Navy diver, ship's diver. And I was down at the bottom. My hands were deep in the mud, right up to my armpits. You can imagine all the things that might be going through your mind. And we were looking for the mooring chain the cable to the harbor approach buoy. It had been severed in a storm, and we were down trying to find it in the mud. After a while, our air started to run low, and we needed to surface. Now, we were partnered up with a more experienced diver. I was just a young man. And we were tethered by our right hand uh, with a rope, uh, maybe four or five feet uh, away. And we came together and decided to, to go up. And as we rose out of the murkiness of the bottom of the water, uh, a shark, a rather large shark, uh, went between me and my partner. It was that close. And uh, I know a lot of people might say that, oh, I'm brave and I'd be able to do this and I'd be able to do that. But, but when it's that close to your face, uh, your mind and body does different things. We went back down into the mud. After a while, our air became critical. We had to surface. And we rose up, and I went very fast. Now, I know, because I was a trained diver, that I can't rise faster than the bubbles coming from my regulator. But I didn't really care. And as I was rising up, I felt this tug on my arm, and my partner had pulled me back and stopped me from harming myself. He got close to me and with his eyes we sort of came up with a plan. We went back to back and we sort of circled and rose up looking for the shark as we reached the surface. When we breached the surface and I took the regulator out of my mouth, I'll tell you that that fresh crisp air never tasted or felt so good. With that in mind, let's move to today's scripture passage. It comes to us from the book of Psalms, chapter 16 and verse 8. It simply reads this way, I have set the Lord continually, continually before me. Because he's at my right hand, I will not be shaken. We need to always have the Lord set before us as the one we must not forget. The one that we must focus all of our anxieties and fears upon, as well as our thoughts of gratefulness for who he is. We do this because he is at our right hand. He will never leave us. God cannot be moved, and as long as Jesus is by our side, like my partner in the my dive, we will never sink down and we will never rise up too quickly to harm ourselves. We can never be without someone who would refuse to leave us. Jesus won't. When I was rising out of the mud into the view of the shark, I was shaken. I was scared. I was afraid of, I don't know, there must have been a thousand things running through my mind. But as long as I could see my partner, as long as I was tethered to him, as long as he was in control of what was happening, I was safe. And I was guided to 
safety in that situation. Your mind may be in fear of the unknown these days, surrounded by the ravages of the virus that is plaguing the world. And while you put on a brave front, that facade, the, uh, that mask, perhaps what's really happening is that the little boy, the little girl inside is crying out. Timothy, 2 Timothy, gives us wise words from chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, but of power and love and discipline. If you tether yourself to God as I tethered myself to my partner so many years ago, he will guide you out of your fear, out of the darkness, and rising together, he will lead you through the uncertainty of this pandemic that is that has befallen the world. Up to the surface of your fear, up to the surface of your stress, up to the surface of your anxiety, to a place where you can finally take a deep, cool breath of air and live the very best life you can while you wait out the storm. We are continually bombarded by facts and figures and stories about the COVID-19 virus and about how many people have perished. Do you find yourself consumed with anxiety? Do you find yourself consumed with stress or even fear about those things that are unfolding around you? Or maybe even from your confinement from the world in your home, even though it's for your own safety and the safety of those that are most vulnerable in, in our area. If so, what are you waiting for? What you need to do is you need to grab, pick up your Bible, tether yourself to God's word. And in prayer, he will lift you out of the darkness. He will lift you out of the murkiness, out of the fear, out of the anxiety to a place of solitude. Where you can take a deep, relaxing breath of stress-free air. I have set the Lord continually before me. Because he's at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your presence in my life and all those who are uh, sharing this devotional with me here today. And I ask, Father, that, that you compel them even to tether themselves to you, to pick up their scriptures, to lift their fears in prayer to you, to talk to you, so that they might give you an opportunity to lead them to a freshness, a clarity, a stressless place of your love. Thank you for this and so much more. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. As always, when you finish listening to this devotional, go pick up the phone. Call somebody. Tell them that you care. Maybe you might even tell them that you have some fear yourself, that the two of you might share something. You'll be glad that you did. May God bless you and keep you close by his side 
until we meet again, have a good day.